All right, now you might want to stand up at home. I stand am. up, stand oh, up yep. while you're watching this next segment. Because new research says sitting is potentially as bad for our health as smoking. Take a look. Sitting down was killing you. Literally, yeah, sitting down was killing me. We're now starting to see some pretty strong evidence linking high amounts of sitting to type 2 diabetes, heart disease, overweight and obesity, some cancers and of course an increased risk of early death. My wake up call was when I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. A specialist that I saw said to me that I had about five years before I'd be on dialysis and I had probably 10 years left if I didn't change what I was doing. That was it, 10 years, 10 years left before I was going to die. It's no wonder it's being labelled a silent killer. Physiotherapist Anna, Lu Anna Louise Bouvier joins us now to tell us more. Good morning to you, Anna Louise. Good the morning. average Aussie is going to spend more than nine hours a day mm -hmm. at the desk. We're mm -hmm. working longer hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this bad for us? Absolutely. It, as you can see, it's killing us. Well, explain why. Okay. The in years gone by, we used to think sitting was bad because it was bad for your neck and back, mm. right? Now there's an enormous amount of metabolic research coming from, as you can see, Baker IDI and places like that, linking it to diabetes, heart disease, stroke, um, and then now to colon cancer, lung cancer, like it's just extraordinary. Yes. And we know that if you sit for over 11 hours a day, so that's in total, and I think that's really important, that it's not just what's at your desk, it's when you get home, it's Commuting. in the car. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, true. A total of 11... A ride. Absolutely. A so a total of 11 hours a day increases your risk of a cardiovascular event, like stroke, heart attack, by 40% in the next three years. That's so, alarming. Like they're big figures. Okay. You've brought a friend along. Yes, Explain Gordon. also what it's doing to us, our muscles Metabolic. and our metabolism. Okay, so yep. what happens is if you sit for a long period of time, well, if you sit like a banana, which is the way a lot of people sit, it's really hard on your skeleton. So it's hard on your neck and your back and stuff like that. But and what we're all... you could lose an arm if Exactly, you look at that's skeleton. right. Look Sadly. That guy. <laughs> Sadly, he dislocated on the yeah. way home. We're fixing him right now. Um, the other thing that we've discovered as well is that we're doing a lot of surveys in, in my program that we run. We're finding that up to 70% of people are eating lunch at their desk, for instance. Sure. Now, what we know is when you sit a lot, there's meant to be 18 feet of guts between here and here. And if you scrunch down on them, you're not getting good digestion during the day. So it's affecting your, your digestion. Mm. The other big thing that happens is when you're sitting and you don't move, you you lose that, that your blood sugar levels basically drop. So what happens is that that lack of movement starts to make you crave sugar. And I think that's a big thing that a lot a of us think. snack just in the hall in that's every right. office. And so what people do is they go looking for energy um, because their brain is telling them, I can't think straight. Well, wow. what changes can we make? I mean, I, I mean we can stand at our desk. I yep. know there's companies like Google and, and mm -hmm. places like that are sort of doing that. Is that a good alternative? Look, I say to people, it's got to become really a behavioural strategy. Mm. So you kind of think, there's simple things to remember. Six to eight times an hour, get up, right? So, so what sort of works well is if you link it, say, if you are at a desk, link it to a phone call, say. So whenever you're at the phone that you don't need to type, stand up. And when you stand, go up and down on your toes six to eight times. So you pump that blood back up to your brain, which makes you feel great. Um, if you can have things like standing meetings. If you can go for a walking Let's meeting, walk talk it's it. fabulous. Like the West walk. Wing. Exactly, mm. that's Every right. Every time they're, walk, they're walking, talk. talking. And they say one company was telling me recently that, that they started doing walking meetings and all of a sudden their productivity skyrocketed mm. because in 11 minutes, which took them to walk around the block, they were suddenly making decisions really quickly instead of everyone sitting around. Makes so much sense. What about our kids? You know, you see kids with I their know. necks like this the I whole know. time on these devices. I know. What do we do to get them, you know, to prevent? Surely prevention is the key as well. Absolutely. I think kids are the next great sort of bastion of problems that we're looking at. As parents, I think trying to get kids up regularly. We, we even do with our kids set an egg timer mm. so that, you know, if they are watching TV, you say, look, every 20 minutes. They did a really cute thing in one school where they did a stand up on the bell. So they actually sort of, when they had to, um, when the bell rang, they all had to skip mm. for just one minute at the end of the bell. So things like what we know is it's breaking up regularly that's yeah. really important. Right. Yeah. Well, Anna, Anna Louise, thank you so much for coming in and thanks to old mate here with one mm. arm as well. Good luck really with important that, stuff. Chap. <laughs> if you want to get moving with Anna Louise, go to head, head to Anna Louise Bouvier dot com dot au. We've got it there. That's the spelling right there for more details. Really important stuff. Well done. Thanks Anna Louise. Thank you. All right.